Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of Exploit Pack. Uh, this is Juan Saco, and today I'm gonna show you how to use uh, the auto pound feature uh, with Exploit Pack. So as you may notice, uh, you can access this uh, feature by clicking from the menu bar here, uh, auto pound, and it will show you this window that basically requires you is is ask you for a target. Uh, if you want to run choose a quick scan or you want to run the full scans that uh, using the configs that you uh, previously set under preferences, then you have to select that type type uh, and it's going to be op by open port services or references and then the uh, the type of shell code in the case that uh, a successful uh, attempt uh, has been made. Uh, so how does it work? So once you have that, of course you need to have uh, exploits that will affect uh, and it will uh, be triggered during that scan. So if you have, for instance, no exploits for uh, FTP and then you try to auto-pound uh, an FTP server, then of course there will be nothing to try on. And uh, so when you are developing your own exploit here, and then uh, you can see the options that you will have on your exploits. And you can see this on, under the quick information window, or if you click on edit for, I'm doing it for this skeleton exploit, you will see that we have a new module name, the author, the platform, on this case is uh, any because uh, it's a skeleton exploit. And then the uh, type of exploit is a client side, is remote, uh, local, or is a web attack. Then we have the service that is affected and the uh, CVE meter, if there is any, and the port affected. For instance, the port will be uh, taken from this exploit. This is this will create a XML file and will be taken by this exploit and read by the autopump feature. And it will try to select this exploit if you are uh, if it discovered through the scan first an open port for instance that is uh, uh, 8080 then it will try to run this exploit if that's the case and the shell code here uh, for this particular exploit it is choose a puck there is no shell uh, available um, because it chooses skeleton right um, so um, if we go to the source code. If we go to the source code of Exploit Pack, we can see uh, here uh, this is the part of the auto pound. Uh, yeah, so here you can see how is uh, trying to choose the, the the shell code in the case uh, of a, 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 a yeah of an attempt that was successfully uh, run, and then uh, here we have the the exploit object. Uh, so it's gonna read. Um, all these uh, from the exploit from that the XML file on, of that particular exploit that is trying to to yeah to trigger uh, exploit name code exploit type platforms and so on and so forth and then it will try to uh, select uh, the exploit that uh, it, depending on what you choose uh, it will try to select the exploit that is uh, most interesting and yeah and it has been filtered by whatever you selected right uh, open ports detected here this is the part of the uh, the part of the scanning yeah so when the scan is successful then it will just do that that's uh, so it's really straightforward there is not much to explain here so basically uh, in order to make auto pound uh, works properly what you need is exploits with the proper xml file with the uh, ports selected uh, uh, with the ports that you need for uh, and they have to be opened uh, doing your uh, scanning uh, so nmap uh, will first uh, make us will make a filter on the open port so by reference and then using that uh, you're gonna be able to yes to select uh, the exploits uh, doing the uh, applying that as a filter yeah so that's basically how it works it's uh, really uh, it's really really straightforward and easy to use and this is uh, this is really helpful for instance uh, when you are doing a pen test and then you have an exploit I don't know uh, let's say uh, terminal blue and you want to try it against uh, a subnet and then if you have the exploit, the, you have correctly formatted the XML file. You can do it by just clicking edit, and if you have the, if you have that exploit, and then you can choose run auto pound against uh, against that uh, 
a subnet and then it will try to yeah or add a particular it doesn't have to be a, a network but it could be a target directly and then you can try to directly using auto bound to uh, try to exploit that automatically yeah and in the case that you also had a shell uh, shell code for for to get a remote shell or something they will also try to do that as well and then in the case that a successful uh, shell uh, is spawned then uh, under the connection list here it will appear uh, your shell will appear here yeah okay guys i think that's all if you still have comments or you have any questions uh, please leave it uh, on the comment uh, section below and if you still uh, need any help, please um, uh, get in contact with, with us through exploitpack.com. Uh, okay, that was all guys. See you in the next video. Bye.